Many cheer and dance teams were featured in the parade today, including organizations caring about the same values of working together to impact change. The mayor, Sylvester Turner, served as this year's Grand Marshal. Anya's float, big name athletes were featured, including WNBA superstar Cheryl Swoops. We also caught up with the parade co-Grand Marshal, the nephew of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who says he's still in awe on how many people honor his uncle every year. For us as a family, it's just uh, uh, flattering to us that people still hold him in regard. His dream still matters. We have so, so much that we still have to fight for. But the fact that we're celebrating this day, um, we have to find a way to keep his legacy alive, keep the dream alive. The MLK Festival is happening right after this parade. It'll be going on until 5 p.m. right in front of City Hall at the Herman Park Square there. We're talking live music, vendors, activities for the kids so the whole family can come on down, Ron, so they can enjoy and celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Reporting live in downtown Houston, we go to Elo Cat, KGU, 11 News. For this year's MLK Day of Service, Rebuilding Together Houston and Reliant teamed up to give home repairs to a 93-year-old resident of Third Ward. They built Miss Hattie Jones a wheelchair ramp to help her have better access to her home. The ramp is part of an overall project in which they'll make electrical and plumbing repairs as well. Today, uh, we have seven volunteers here at this location at Mrs. Jones' home in the Third Ward. And uh, we're really excited to be here. This, these are the types of projects that we all enjoy very much. Uh, we've been doing these uh, with Rebuilding Together for over 20 years. In that time frame, we've been able to uh, make repairs to over 85 homes. Uh, so this is uh, another one uh, that, that uh, we're, we're happy to, to be a part of and uh, to uh, continue to support the community in that way. Another crew will make exterior repairs, including painting and replacing siding on Miss Jones' home later this week.